Plus, I love saying Tabanga. Tabanga. I wish I could tell Chloe how much William cared about her. Staying up all night is the best excuse to drink lots of coffee. Even Holmes and Watson didn't use every piece of information. Damn. This is a serious expose on the Prescotts. Finally. That's my Chloe. Sorry, Max, but this is really interesting. Plus, I love saying Tabanga. Tabanga. So close, yet so far away. We have to do three main things. Right. Uh, what things? One, decipher Frank's logbook. Two, get Nathan's phone to find out where he's been during the Vortex Club parties with Kate and Rachel. And see whatever hidden shit he's got in his messages. Three, beat Step Douche Dan until he tells us about Frank, Nathan, and the Dark Room. And I do have a gun now. Keep it in your pants. We'll have to do this on our own. Dude, at least let me kick his ass, then rewind. <sighs> Fine, whatevs. It's your power. Which I can't waste on shit like that. Or Blackwell would be in big trouble. You didn't even let me take that money to pay Frank off. And I'm glad. We have to be better than that. I know. You should get busy in the garage to see what dirt you can dig up. I'm gonna cyberstalk some names and see where that leads. Or to who. And be careful of Stepcrack. Unless you want to hang out with him after you stood up for his ass yesterday. Oh, please. I can't abuse this level of my rewind power. It's way too dangerous, and I need to navigate the present without messing up the past. I'm so sorry, William. It's not fair you had to die twice. This butterfly photo seems like a million years ago. How much time have I altered since? I should have known just erasing that phone message wouldn't stop the police. Sorry, Max, but this is really interesting. Plus, I love saying Tabanga. Tabanga. I hope the Tabanga does too. Yes, Chloe Price was here. Damn. This is a serious expose on the Prescotts. That's my Chloe. The snow dough is still broken apart, like William from Chloe. Yes, Chloe Price was here. That blue dye makes me so happy. It means the real Chloe is back with me. Oh, 
that blue dye makes me so happy. Oh, that blue dye makes me so happy. It means the real Chloe is back with me. Oh, that blue dye makes me so happy. It means the real Chloe is back with me. Since David might be in there, I better mosey along for a change. Those poor whales are like beached angels. What is going on here? Those poor whales are like beached angels. What is going on here? Joyce really wants David and Chloe to be a family. Looks like they're back on the road to Paris. Somehow, I existed in this whole other reality. But I, I don't know what happened. The more I use my power, the more I see how little control I have over what happens. Now, Max Caulfield exists in two or maybe three different realities. How can I have a destiny? these alternate lives exist? I hate the thought of William and Joyce finding Chloe like that. <sighs> Thinking about all these lifelines almost makes my head hurt worse than the rewind. Looks like David finished his car repairs. Maybe there's some new clues around. Sorry, but this is my. I wonder if David is going to the party. So, no girls allowed. That is a serious padlock on that locker. Hey David, what you hiding? Looks like I need a key or code. I know this padlock. Looks like I need a key or code. I know this padlock. Oh, look at 
put the baby blue jay eggs in the nest. I, I better move his plank. Excuse me. Just one picture, please. Click. Another photo from my Arcadia Bay wildlife series. Max, you better put that plank back to protect the nest. This plank is good for nest protection, but... Oh, thank you. Sleep tight, my eggy wigs. Excuse me. Just one picture, please. Max, you better put that plank back to... Pro Max, you better put that plank back to protect the nest. This plank is good for nest protection, but... This plank is good for nest protection. Oh, thank you. Sleep tight, my eggy wigs. I knew that number. Oh, maps, notes, coordinates, photos of Kate, Nathan. Oh, yes. Score. Back to Chloe now. Should I have signed the petition? Blackwell... Should I have signed the petition? Blackwell sure isn't safe. Surveillance cameras at Pan Estates? Surveillance cameras at Pan Estates? D Should I have signed the petition? Blackwell sure isn't safe in private anymore. Sure is hard to work in private with somebody watching you. What the hell did David do for Nathan? And what did his dad do for David? I do appreciate you standing up for me. Hey, Missy, you do know I can see you sleeping <sighs> Since the locker's already open, I don't need that key. Anything I can do for you, Max? I... I was just waiting for Chloe to get out of the bathroom so we can go. I owe you one. So I'll pretend what you just said is true, Missy. Excuse me. That's Miss Caulfield. Yes, sir. You and Chloe still better be careful where you wander. There are a lot of dark places in Arcadia Bay. What do you mean by dark places? I can't tell you everything that's going on at Blackwell. And you've seen too much already, so please stay out of this, Max. Too late. I already know way too much. Like the fact that you might be working for Sean Prescott. What? Who told you that? Nathan Prescott? That little shit ass is lucky he didn't get suspended. I don't think luck had anything to do with it. I could have been suspended too. I didn't have all the evidence at the time. I... I am sorry, Max. So, are you gonna tell me why you think I'm working for Sean Prescott? I saw documents that you were hired to do surveillance and security at Pan Estates. God damn. You are a good detective. But I didn't get hired. I gave Sean Prescott an estimate. For my own reasons. Anyway, I think we can both agree it's been a hard week on all of us. Especially poor Kate Marsh. Too bad nobody helped her when she needed it. You tried to help her more than anybody, Max. I sure didn't. Plus, I left that goddamn dorm roof wide open. I knew Kate was feeling desperate. You even made it to the roof before me or anybody. 
I knew Kate was desperate too. So did Mr. Jefferson. And I got him suspended for what? That guy is an elitist prick and I'm off duty so I can say it at home behind his back. Like when Chloe calls me step douche. These artists live in a fantasy world. Why do you say that? These art farts are all about themselves. When I was in the service, I hated the photographers who tried to pose me in their anti-war bullshit. Well, Blackwell Academy is a school for artists, so maybe this isn't the best place for you. I have a family here, Max, and I think Blackwell is the best place for me, since only I know what's happening. Of course, thanks to Mrs. Grant and her hippie anti-surveillance petition, I hope everybody feels safer, like Rachel Amber and Kate Marsh. Although, you're like a walking surveillance system. I appreciate you standing up for me, but I have to be a hard ass and tell you and Chloe to stay the hell out of this. Things are just gonna get more ugly. Chloe and I can take care of ourselves. Now excuse me, Max. I have to get back to my camera. See, I'm an artist too. I give up William, the most expensive restaurant in town. David knows how to get on Joyce's good side. Yo, Chloe, are you ready yet? I have to get back to my dorm. Are we happy? Very happy. I hit the secret file jackpot. It's Kate, Nathan, and Rachel. Plus there's some location coordinates. David is like a one-man surveillance army. Now let's get the hell out of here before we get busted. Now let's go find out what Nathan is hiding in his room. We have to be extra careful. Max, now it's time for Nathan Prescott to be afraid of us. Hey, Max. How you doing? Oh, hi, Mr. Jefferson. I'm okay. Um, and this is my friend, Chloe. Yeah. Chloe? Why isn't somebody as cool as you going to Blackwell? I was way too cool for this school. It's a long story. And actual files here. I can imagine. Max, are you sure that you're all right? It's weird just being on campus like everything's normal. I know. Lame as it sounds, life has to go on. I think there's too much going on in my life. On that note, Blackwell duty calls. Remember, I'm going to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes contest tonight at the party, so I hope you'll be there to celebrate, even though I'm sorry you didn't enter a photo. I understand your reasons. You can't force an artist to work. So, you don't hate me for what I said to the principal? I'm proud of you for caring so much about a troubled friend. And I take hope in the fact that you have plenty of time to find your way. Just get in the habit of putting your work out there. Thanks, Mr. Jefferson. I'll definitely be there tonight. Me too. I'll be Max's date. You better dance with us at least once. <laughs> Nobody should have to see me dance. Plus, you don't want to watch the old hipster trying to keep up with the kids. I have some pride. Be seeing you. Yes, you will. Hot for teacher. Gross! 
You are out of control. Not yet. Just wait until the rager tonight. <sighs> Shut up. Don't be jealous because Mark Jefferson thinks I'm cool. I am so ignoring you. Fine. Since I'm here, I'll see if I can get some dirt from Justin. I haven't talked to him in a while. Now that is a great plan. Let's see if I can find out where Nathan is.